May I have a seat? Oh, dear. Georgie, oh. welcome. Now, uh, we set you up good and proper, didn't we? Because we arranged a little lunch with a TV executive who you work for, yeah? You did, you naughty people. And who was that? Well, that was Michael Bowden, who runs My Home, which is a Channel 9 real estate property that I also lucky enough to work on. And I had to meet him because we were doing some filming yeah. and people had said, you need to meet with him and discuss the new format of the show. So it was so legit and I was like, oh, OK, and I was flat out at work and I said, no worries, and we'd organised to meet at this um, hotel in South Melbourne, which I go to all the time. Right. Yeah. And you trusted him? Oh, I trusted him. See, and... we thought that was great. A chick who trusts TV executives, we knew you were gullible, <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> yes, should have known. So this business partner, Andrew, he ends up having the worst day of his life. I mean, the things that go wrong, we can't even describe. Mm, yes, and I, he was so... And, you know, Michael was saying, now, Andrew's the new producer who's come on board and he's come from London he's a big hotshot. And I'm like, oh, OK, you know, this sounds great. And, and Andrew flew in and I just... Yeah, I just sort of thought, oh, okay, and, and took it as, as the real deal, yeah. as a real meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's observe as Michael and Georgie arrive for their meeting with the one man disaster. Michael and Georgie chat while they wait for our actor Andrew to rock up. He's running late. Right. And here he is now. So yeah. you've about that. Andrew, how are you? Good sorry, you, mate. mate. I'm really sorry that it's I'm right. late. Um, no worries. Sure. Georgie, Hi, Andrew. Andrew Geller. Georgie, nice how to meet you. Nice yeah, to meet you. No. So, yeah, that's great. So, yeah. <laughs> it's all sort of rolling and, and uh, being national. It's all, I was oh, just explaining to Georgie what, what we're yeah. plans for the show. Oh, okay. And, yeah. and in fact, I just started to talk about you, so uh, I haven't actually had a chance to say much other than Andrew's just parked his that's car cute. and walked in. He's yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Sure have. And I'm, I'm really yeah. sorry once yeah. again. I'm late on. Yeah. And how you doing, mate? Oh, look, if you'd... It's, it's been a bit of a shit month, actually, Mark, to be honest. I mean, I mean, my wife left me about three and a half weeks ago, which is just ridiculous. I bought this ridiculously over-expensive car when I got back, and I've ran over a dog. Is this for real? Yeah, no, it's just been ridiculous. I lost a couple of investments back in France, which I had to go back and sort out and then come back here and... And my, mom, my mum's actually just gone into hospital as well, so I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, it's just been a really shit month. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. So, yeah, it's look, all I'm, major I'm life sorry. stuff it's, you're it's, to deal with. When you're overtired and you're a bit, um, yeah. I don't mean to bring this up, you know, up here, but you know, it's just been one of those, one of those months. Life's just serving you a bit of a challenge at the moment. Yeah. You've just got to see it as a, um, as a challenge, really. How are you? Oh, good. Phil, how are you? Good, good. Here you go. Good, good. Sorry to interrupt. That's all right. The possums are throwing your garbage in there, mate. Oh, really? You've got to shut the lid, mate. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. Yeah, I know, I know. Sorry. There's my next-born neighbour, and I've literally only just moved in, and I've kind of been running around, and I think he's getting a bit shitty that I've... I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't understand possums, yeah. that's for sure. I haven't been around there, there seems to be an explosion of possums or something, I think. I think you need to go on, it's almost like you need a weekend away. Oh, shit, yeah. Well, look, I mean, maybe you can help me out. Have you got somewhere I can go? Hey, mate, is that your car? Because you're getting the ticket. If it is. Georgie really believes it now. Oh, my God. How much bad one can you have? That's hilarious when he sat down and said, I thought he was joking. <laughs> He's done something in his life and he said something.